Hey everyone, it's Baron from Attack Interactive and in this video I'm gonna show you how to set your PayPal payment method. So for that we gotta go to system tab and click on configuration. On the left we're gonna go down and see our sales part and then we're gonna click on payment methods. Alright, this page is gonna bring um, many payment methods and one of it is PayPal. So our location is United States and then it has some different PayPal options but we're not gonna touch any of them we're just gonna click on PayPal Express checkout because this, this is the free one and we're gonna click on configure so it's gonna open um, this tab which you have to put some information um, right here I have put in my test email account which is not gonna work here this is just here to make you understand. Uh, you have to put a, an email that is um, connected to PayPal, which is a valid PayPal email at the end. So let's assume this is a PayPal account. This is my PayPal account, which is not. But um, yours has to be valid to be able to uh, make this run. So I'm just going to remind you that most of the stuff here you see is already. Um, set for you so that you don't need to change most of it I'm just gonna try to make you understand what you should do and change so we put our PayPal email over here and normally if it's um, a valid email you, you, you're gonna have to enable it and right now we can't well let's assume this is enabled so only thing we have to do here is to put our email and then enable it alright so basic settings title title of the page is gonna be um, we can keep it short we can just go PayPal and you can choose whatever you want this is gonna be the title for the page which is up here sort order this we want it to um, be the first payment option you can just use zero or one for the first payment option um, let's just put it on the second line um, payment action authorization so payment form is going to be um, all out countries um, payment action is authorization shortcut on shopping cart um, this is the part you can you can choose to add like a um, PayPal shortcut for the um, shopping cart and the product view page so we want to put it on shopping cart because it puts a PayPal logo it's gonna be useful for the shopping cart but I don't want it to be visible on my product page so let's just click on no I don't want this PayPal logo or PayPal payment option to be visible on the product page so I'm gonna click on no with shopping cart yes and then here we have advanced settings so payment form all allow countries debug mode this is like a demo um, mode where you, if you choose yes it's not gonna charge anything to your account if you choose no it's gonna be uh, it's not gonna be in debug mode basically um, let's choose yes so that there's no charges going on for this specific um, video SSL verification yes uh, transfer card line yes these are all um, set up for you so don't touch anything transfer shipping options um, you can choose to enable this or disable this for the 10 cheapest um, shipping options let's choose it yes um, you can just go um, on the question mark here or you can make changes and go back to your actual page and see what changes before you actually start this payment method shortcut buttons flavor dynamic or static this is gonna be the um, shortcut button um, how it looks let's leave it on dynamic enable PayPal guest checkout this is um, yes or no for you if this is selected yes um, they're just gonna have to they don't need an account and PayPal they're just gonna have to put their card information um, and then they can just use PayPal as a as a place to um, put their um, information securely let's assume they don't trust your store they want to pay through PayPal they just want to put their card through their web page this enables it 
so require customer billing address um, you can choose yes or no or for virtual um, quotes you can let's leave it at no uh, billing agreement setup never auto ask the customer once again just um, try whichever works for you if not just leave it as how it is it's not going to interfere with anything uh, PayPal billing agreement settings uh, once again it's up to you the title the sort order uh, debug mode I mean um, we probably don't have to do any changes here it's all up, it's all up to you once again settlement re record um, report we're not gonna click on anything over here only one more thing front-end uh, experience settings there's this PayPal logo you can choose to um, use different PayPal logos or no logo at all and you can also change the um, header or background color stuff like that on the um, merchant page which you don't have to do anything to be able to launch the payment method so we're gonna have to save the configuration and we're gonna be ready to go for this so once again it's Baron from Attack Interactive uh, please ask us any questions you have and thank you for watching this